visited O TV. Let us not go and pay homage to the other again. If we don't, we will be hungry. And when he's hungry, he will come and beg us. No. <laughs> oh, beg your boy. Your boy does not go beg him. Hmm. So, when all that was done, and this woman knew that Ilya Sode was doing all that because of what happened in the past. And so she was the only one who resisted. When they forced all the other women in the harem, the children, everybody out of the harem, she remained. And stood by and with her husband. And that is why today she's, to us, we say she's the most valued main woman. And so we have dedicated every month every year. She died for love. She died for love. She sacrificed her life for true love. She is not Saint Valentine. Saint Valentine did what he did for his people or for his own gain. But this woman, she is not the mother of the crown prince. She did not even have a child for the other. She there are so many reasons she would have decided not to do it. But she gave up her life so that the new monarchy will be restored. The Benin nation will be restored. So please tell us again how she died. Visited uh, TV. Let's take it this way. Okay. When the Obaiwa pair returned back to the palace, discovering that she was the only one left among his wives. And uh, he said, why don't you go with them? He said, oh, I will stay with you through this and all that. And they needed to perform a sacrifice as at that time for peace to reign, you know. To, to be restored, and uh, they need, uh, it has to be a human sacrifice. Nobody in the palace, no slave, nothing, and nobody to use. And the, she said, "Use me, my husband." Yeah. And the, the other was like surprised. How you are the only person with me now? Said, "Use me on one condition: nobody steps on my grave." And the other could not have no option than to use her for the sacrifice. Moment the grave was co co being covered, started hearing drum sound from different corners, dancing to the palace. These were things that would have stopped happening before. So, in other words, it's clear that the sacrifice has been accepted. Peace is now restored. We are all jubilating, happy. The other was not having a new inspiration. It's not sad, it's not happy. And there's a song that we used to sing that. You see, like that, he was not happy, he was not sad. Because what he has been uh, looking for, peace has been restored. But the only true love that, you know, that is the life that was used for sacrifice. I'm emotional. That, you know, so that is why she's actually the sent our own Valentine or celebration of love, February 14th. She's the woman we have to we should be celebrating as far as the new kingdom is concerned. Because she actually died for love. And the other kept to that promise that nobody steps on her grave. And uh, there was a case of a young man that was due to marry. Uh, no woman was accepting to marry him. And uh, he finally got a woman that accepted to marry him. And he was jubilating her and then telling people. He said he wants to go to the palace to tell the woman that he finally got the wife. And on his way there, he's mistakenly stepped on the cow feces. And looking for a place to clean his leg, oh. his leg, he ended up cleaning his leg on top of the grave. And he was caught and they killed him immediately. Oh. I wish he married his wife quietly as at that time. Mm. He would have still be alive as a man. That's the story of Eden and Nehwakbe. This was the day the president of Ba was crowned. Of okay. Ba the second at Uzama. You know, that day there was a heavy downpour and a lot of thunderstorm. And there was, uh, I happens to be in the ad hoc committee on the media and entertainment, you know. We need to organize a, a concert at some of the Mudia Stadium where a lot of artists came to perform. And it was a free concert. People go there for free. And free food we are shared, sponsored by Late Captain Rosa Kumbo, just to carry crowd away from this area that night. Visited TV.